He reaches a point where he's ready to sell his company to anyone who would pay him 500 bucks. Total. Ed Link is a fascinating character. He didn't even pass high school. Some say even middle school he dropped out. Self-trained engineer. Ed Link was interested in flight. Mm -hmm. Flights were so expensive. They were also risky. Debts were common. He wanted to come up with a very cost-effective approach that could reach the masses. Mm -hmm. So he came up with a training manual and he had his own hangar and he used to repair airplanes during mm -hmm. the day and in the evenings he would teach classes and so forth. He mimics uh -huh. an airplane structure, puts wings, ailerons, fuselage, and so forth, makes it look like the box. He comes up with this box, he has no market. The mm -hmm. classic entrepreneur uh, story, no one wants to buy it. He reaches a point where he's ready to sell his company to anyone who would pay him 500 bucks total. <laughs> and then comes mm -hmm. a tragedy, which suddenly puts Ed Link into mm -hmm. business, a postal crisis, mm -hmm. believe it or not. They had uh, too many crashes because of bad weather and so forth. And finally, you end up having the US Army delivering postal mail. <laughs> in Curtis bombers mm. and so forth. Then they realize, yeah, we need a formalized training mm. mechanism. How he takes off in, in the Binghamton airport and gets to Newark and how he lands in complete darkness. And that's all the demo mm. that these uh, army officials needed to have trust. They didn't even have to try out the mm. actual simulator, yeah. or the, the trainer rather. Mm -hmm. He saw, how could you do that? And that's mm. when it happened.